Yeah. Well, that's good. So, because there's so, so Lord Russell Industries. I'm telling you, we're yeah. growing. We're, yeah. growing. We're, yeah. we're twice as big if he yeah. joins in. Well, I think he saw the Beltito. Uh, well, this is the one you want today, by the way, because. Here. Can we show it? I hope All so. right, hold on a second. Just got to take a little in. Huh? Oh, that looks fantastic. Doesn't it? Dory Stutz is here. Are we listening? Dory, doesn't it look great? Wouldn't you, wouldn't, couldn't you see the Beltito and the Taylor yes. Swift? <laughs> she's so a fucking I'm looking but She's in awe. Look at her. She barely knows what to say. Just Dory Stutz is a real estate expert here in San Diego, California, we, and we call her on call on her from time to time to talk about uh, real estate and investing. Do you have do you No. You have no real estate questions no. about life anymore? Oh, you used to have a ton of you were the real estate <laughs> when I had real estate. Now yeah. I just rant. I like it. I'm like, you know, there's a toilet lake and there's a well, crack that's slab, what I was say. I'm getting out if you don't fix it. There is Lord, there, owner. there because of the lack of affordable housing, there is this thing going on now where investors are investing Investment in professionals are saying, don't buy a house, mm -hmm. take the money and invest it because you can't afford the house anyway. Is that becoming <laughs> a problem for you guys? Because of lack of affordable housing has got to be a big deal. Um, it depends on the client. I mean, uh, even investment properties are tough to come by right now. Really? Lack of inventory. Really? So yeah, is that driving prices up uh, prices all the way around? Prices are still going Or up. is it driving neighborhoods east? <laughs> <laughs> because in San Diego, really, no, you, really, you can't go west. You, you've got about ten minutes before. That's all the further you can go. That's one direction you can eliminate. East, plenty of room. Yeah, east, let's go to the and desert. And you see a lot of um, out-of-state buyers buying more coastal. That's in California. Down, that's in California. On a national basis, national. so. Well, I mean, look at. Let's face it. You go east, though, right up at a point. Then, if you go east, right. then it's more yeah, expensive, it right? Right. So basically, Catches buy something in Opelika, Alabama. Right? Perfect. It's beautiful you know, down something there. Something in Oklahoma. Two months out of the year. Is um, uh, is it easier to get finance these days? Because I got something in the mail the other day saying that uh, they now have again no doc, low doc loans, which is basically stated income loans. Is, I mean, th didn't that get us in trouble in the first place? Well, I haven't really came across that too often. I mean, I know with FHA, any you have to have a credit score at least 600. Okay. And so two yeah. years of bank statements. You have to be fogging up a mirror <laughs> to have a credit score of 600. I got that. It's Fog this up, mail it back. First time and buyers and a lot of people that are recovering from the last, you know, housing market right. you know, crisis. But um, short sales and foreclosures, I think it's like three years. Um, What's a short sell again? What is a short sell? A short sell is when you are selling your home and you don't have enough equity in it to cover the mortgage. The mortgage. So okay. So let's say you have a mortgage of a hundred thousand dollars. That's not. And you can only sell <laughs> yeah. your house for ninety. Now, how do mm -hmm. you do that? Do you sell? Yeah. You sell to the bank ten? Uh, you have to contact the bank and negotiate with them and see if they're even willing to do a short oh. sell. <laughs> Would they take it back? Say, listen, we're even. Well, because some, because they don't want a house, they would rather have money, right? They'd rather have their money. So you and go to like those bank sales. Do they have those? Like a bank, we got a buttload well, of properties. That's Come a for, on, that's a foreclosure. Oh. So usually. Okay, now, wait a second. So foreclosure is <laughs> opposite or not opposite, they, different than a short sale. A short short sale is your your choice to sell, basically, <laughs> right? Well, it's usually if it's a hardship, if you have to move, or if they you know, if right. you go through a divorce and there's you know you have to sell, yes, and you don't have enough equity in your home to cover yeah. you know the mortgage and your expenses. Yeah. Okay, so Ouch. you understand so, the difference between Yeah, foreclosure, sale? they're knocking on For, your door yeah, for a few how, days. But remember back in the mortgage crisis days, yes. I remember people, I mean, I knew people that were in their houses for 12, 14 months without making a payment. Yeah. Without, And it wasn't because the bank was being nice. I think it was because for, there were so many foreclosures, they just didn't get to them yet. Is a foreclosure typically 30 days? You're, you're, you're 30 days and out? How long does it take? Well, to, a short sell... Um, is different than a foreclosure because right. foreclosure or notice of default is because you're missing your payment. Right, right. And, but I'm sure. But, now I mean, but taking how long can you stick around yeah, that's before the they drag your? It's really up to the bank. Yeah. Um, you could be 30 days or 60 days late on your payment, and they can start the NOD process. So you mean, NOD. Okay. What's NOD? Notice of default. That means you're. NOD. Yes. <laughs> that's a letter glued to the door with the, all the other mail. How do you know this? I just heard. I just I read it, <laughs> I read I've never it on seen, the internet. I've never even heard of the thing. Plus, you never have. You really don't even have to leave. As a renter, you're like, go ahead, try to kick me out now. Isn't it harder to get rid of a renter? Like foreclose on a renter. <laughs> Good luck. Well, you, you're foreclosing foreclosing on the owner and then trying to get the renter out but a lot of times the bank will work with the occupants <laughs> okay but is it still is it is it <laughs> see, all you're asking questions about how you can stay without <laughs> paying you, you, you notice that there's I'm clear go ahead you notice that there's like a theme going on with your questions <laughs> yes. can, like how long can i stay without paying is basically what you're saying that's what i want to know well but if you somebody gets, always pay your bills right but if somebody got in the truck well, i think what are you saying but though? you have to know yeah. that when you're thinking of buying and i'll just rent it out to people well people you know are Terrible sometimes when they finally get well, in. Well, if it's not Good their luck. stuff, 
They're not, I mean, if it's not it's, their property, they don't, they're, they're good. So let's talk about that, investment properties. Investment properties, are, 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 those, are those just ridiculous now? I mean, won't prices come down if there isn't any availability after a while? Well, as far as investment, like flipping. Well, or flipping or, or like you said, renting. Rental income properties. Yeah. The problem is, is um, again, the prices are high. So to actually make your profit back, if you're financing, going yeah. in and financing and be able to rent it back. But again, rentals are short too. Right. Um, there you go. Rentals market. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so, so if you pay a little bit more, you might be able to get a little more for rent to even it yeah, out, right? Exactly. Mm. And so, and is there? Do you? I don't know. I'm going to spitball here for a second. Do you know how long the average homeowner keeps his home these days? Because it used to be seven years. You, seven years, they you know you'd get a new house. Every How seven. long was my old neighbor? Great guy. <laughs> like Owner it. occupied would be five, and now it's kind of bumped up to I believe between five and seven years. Okay. And investment properties usually were two years, but mm. that's a little tough now with the so, market as well. So now, in, as far as national stuff goes, um, is there a be, is there a part of the country that is seeing better recovery? Because I don't even think we did. California even see a dip in the real estate market. I mean, we had like 10% gains a couple years in a row, bit, but was yeah. it horrible? I mean, was it, did you guys ever Recently did, or? Yeah, in the last five years? Um, not at really, I think it was a little flat, like start to the year, but I can't really say that we had a dip in prices. In when everybody market. started converting their lawns into succulents and rock, that's yeah. about the time properties yeah. were dipping because they went, I can't afford water, I can't afford grass. Right, can't that's exactly water. right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, and by the way, what about, the, and what about this trend towards smaller homes? Because obviously, look, look at millennia, two thirds of the workforce in, Eight years. This portion of the program years, sponsored it, by Sprout Tiny Homes. Sprout no, not Tiny the, homes. no, no, no. Like container homes? No, no, not like container homes. <laughs> I'm talking about millennials like don't want big houses. Two thirds of the workforce is going to be millennials in yeah. eight years. Multi generational homes that they're buying together. I mean, or they want, basements. or just smaller <laughs> places. I mean, yeah. I can tell you, my two girls that are full blown millennials, they're making great money in their careers, do not want to buy a house. They want to buy something very small because they want to spend their money elsewhere. They, they want to spend travel. Their... They want to have yeah. fun. That's they exactly buy so. What, video games, so what is that doing to inventory for things like condominiums or developers? making you know not tiny homes but the smaller homes well as condos and apartments you know downtown is really booming with the luxury apartments and affordable housing right. that are going up but it throughout it's still a lack of uh, building to keep up with the amount of people moving here I think we should just get out of town huh? I'm telling you I think we should just get out of town I'm <laughs> telling you California St. Paul ain't bad she could, she's talking about California but she could be talking about New York she could yeah. be talking about Dallas she could be talking about Atlanta she could be talking about a number of other places across the country because mm -hmm. I'll tell you I swear, I, I swear, every time I look at a property tax bill. Yeah. Right? We got the weather. That's what you're paying for. Not right today, now. we don't. When you Things head like east, today. everything's nicer. Roads, people, food, everything's nicer as you go east. east. Yeah, there's just no water. But we have okay. a nice tan here. Yeah, got to look at, see, look at Dory You're looking <laughs> exceptional <laughs> today, might I add. Dory Stutz. There's her website. We'll post that up on our website. You can find it. There's easy. her look, view. See, there's the reason that you yeah, have it. Got it. That's her succulents right there. <laughs> Big oh, wow. Swamp is America's next. Stand by. What do you think the teacher's going to look like?